Good morning and welcome back to Buzz TV. Joining me today are two amazing people who are doing great things for Jacksonville, Adam and Monique with the LOL Jacks Film Festival. So welcome. Hey, thank thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So this is your second year of the festival. Yes. All right, tell me about last year. Why'd you guys start this? Mm. Uh, so the reason why we started it is because we wanted to platform different people. Um, we just, we, we intermingle with different people like um, comedians and filmmakers, but we realized they were in their own separate communities and we wanted to try to bring them together, you know, collaborate together. Um, so, and then positivity. So we did a comedy film festival where we had stand-up comedians and uh, local filmmakers come together and uh, it was such a positive response that we wanted to do it again. Yeah. Excellent. And so this year, what's the date of the event? Uh, this one's going to be August, uh, Saturday, August 4th and uh, uh, Sunday, August 5th. And so it'll be from 12 to 2 at Sunray Cinema. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, after on Saturday after that, we're going to have at Root Down is a filmmaker mi uh, mixer mm -hmm. uh, presented by Jack's Film Bar. And uh, it's going to be an awesome event. We're going to have a live band. Actually, it's going to be... Um, the band is the Game Changers featuring Jatara, so they're an amazing band. Amazing. And then, yep, and then we're going to have uh, filmmakers uh, nominations there as well. And this is a whole mixer just to have everyone to come together and network, hang out. Network, so meet, network, yeah. collab. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How many different uh, entries are you looking at this year? Oh, man. We've gotten a lot so far. Um, we've gotten um, over 30 filmmakers that um, submitted. We have to cut it down because the size of the the filming um, is two hours long, so we have to Tetris mm -hmm. that in. But um, they'll find out after June 30th, so they still have time to submit. Um, but after June 30th, we'll select a filmmaker, start selecting filmmakers that will be in our film festival. So if general public comes to this film festival, what, what would they expect as they come out? A good time. Yeah, I think a great time. <laughs> I think I think what the whole thing about LOL Jacks for us is like, you know, obviously LOL, laugh out loud, but also it's to love our locals. You know, and the, like I said, we, we want uh, people to come out, have a good time with stand-up comedians and, and, you know, local filmmakers mm -hmm. showing their work of comedy shorts. And this is going to be an amazing, great time, especially with a lot of stuff that goes on in the world with just drama and people having issues and stuff like that. It's like, this is just an escape for everybody. You know, we want to give, you know, some positivity out there in the world. And, you know, this is a great platform to do it on. And just to piggyback mm -hmm. off that, while it's, you know, to platform creative people, you don't have to be a creative person to, to come to the festival. It can be a great date night. It can be a great girls night out. It can be a, just a great time to just escape and, and just kind of clear your mind and just laugh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we were talking prior, and uh, there's some exciting news. We are going to partner together on another film festival in October. Yes, yes. It is a zombie-themed film festival. Absolutely. And uh, so we are excited. It's going to yeah. be all sorts of fun. And what I've noticed, there's so much great talent in Jacksonville. Oh, absolutely. So many absolutely. creative people. Um, and this gives them that creative outlet to be able to really showcase um, things that they do. Uh, what are some of the opportunities after someone competes in a film festival? Do you see a lot of people going on and doing larger things with it? Um, yes, I do. Uh, actually, and what's great about here in Jacksonville, because of the, so much talent that we have here, I mean, we're seeing a lot of local filmmakers here, like uh, Durden Goffrey, uh, Sam Farmer, um, you know, uh, Royce, uh, Justin, Man. Justin Man. I mean, we're just seeing a lot of it's filmmakers, right and they're actually going on and pursuing, like, doing feature films, you know, which is great. Uh, Joseph Nolan's another one, mm -hmm. and you know, they, you know, they were doing shorts and stuff like that. But look at them. I mean, like, uh, like I said, we're just having a lot of positivity, a lot of the growth in Jacksonville, and. And I think with this here too is that they can just like showcases like all this stuff that goes on. And, with, and we've had like people, pioneers in Jacksonville that actually started this thing with Matt McDonald, or Richard Kadai, you know, just a lot of other people that just kind of gave us a platform. Sharon and then Cobb. Sharon Cobb, yeah. And Dwayne Sykes. Dwayne Sykes, yeah. So we just have all these people that just like that believe in the city and believe in the filmmakers. And that's what we want to be a part of that. You know, we want to give these filmmakers just a, a light to be like, hey, let's go ahead and get this out there, you know. So, Monique, yes. in five years, the LOL Jacks Film Festival will grow, um, expand to, you know, just, just, we just wanted to be so big to where um, we maybe have to add Bailey's Place or somewhere like Anheuser-Busch or somewhere, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, to where, you know, so many people want to see and appreciate our filmmakers. Um, and these filmmakers are actually celebrated like you know, the Steven Spielbergs, but of the Jacksonville world. So we want it to grow. And then also expand into music and to, to poetry, like have all these different creative worlds be a part of the festival. Amazing. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to submit their entry, where do they go? Uh, well, they would go to LOL Jacks Film Festival. Um, 
uh, at gmail.com. So it's LOLJAXFestival at gmail.com. And if you want to catch uh, us also on Facebook, it's at LOLJAX. Also on Instagram and Twitter at LOLJAXFestival. Um, like I said, yeah, you would just go in, submit the entries there. But uh, like I said, uh, June 30th is actually the deadline. So like I said, we're going to be selecting the films here and then get that going. So Adam Monique, thank you for being on The Buzz. Mm -hmm. Sign up June 30th, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Jacksonville Buzz.